With a meadow done, we now have his ability. Revali's Gale. A blusterous, a blusterous power born from the spirit of the champion Revali creates an upward draft that it carries you into the sky. Activate by charging jump with X. Oh, that's right. We're going to have to drop a weapon because uh, Revali's weapon is a bow. Uh, That's going to break, so drop. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got to switch our uh, seeker sensor to shrine. Thank you. There is a shrine up ahead that we could tackle, like, yes. Oh, Teba, you made it back. That's good to hear. You, I really owe you for what you did. Are you hurt? Hmm. It's fine. Thanks to my wife, I've recovered to the point where I can stand. Actually, my wife told me something about you. She says you're a descendant of the champion. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. Go on, there's nothing to hide. Your bowmanship, the way you move through the air, there's no doubt about it. You have the blood of a champion. What? You look like you've got somewhere else to say. Actually, mm -hmm. don't tell me. You're the Hylian champion? Oh, this is actually <laughs> correct. So, correct my statement from earlier. This is actually where we actually tell him he actually is a champion. Though that would have been good to know tell you beforehand. <laughs> I've been claiming 100 years ago. Even if they survived that, they'd be old geezers with canes instead of swords. I'll let the other know about what happened with the Vine Bees Val Meadow, but you should probably go talk to him. Yep, let's go talk to the Elder. He's right here. You have done it, you, and you have survived at that. You've conquered Divine Beast Valmetto. To think the beast is taking up the roost at the top of the village. It simply looks divine. <laughs> if the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beast will ravage the calamity. For now, Divine Beast Valmettos will be become the protector of the village and live on in legend alongside you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yes, of course. I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find that treasure chest. You will get more use for it out than I. Oh. Champion descendant, I have just one realized. The sword you have in your possession. Could it be the sword that seals the darkness? The high end champion who fought alongside Master Rivali 100 years ago. Could that be you? So he's like the first. He's like the first person to understand that we're not a descendant. We're the real deal here. But the Great Eagle Bow, the 28 power bow, has uh, a triple shot. A bow with equal wield, a pearl, uh, equal wielded by the real champion Ravali. It said Ravali could loose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him a supreme in aerial combat. Sweet. And just like our tradition stands, we must put that. Bow to rest in our house. Let's go do that. Because I don't use the champion's weapons. It is sake to remind me of our times together, even though I myself don't remember it. So let's go to our house once again. And it's a good thing we have a, a pretty decked out house, to be fair. Right, put our uh, Revali's bow on hand. It's no more than a better than a falcon bow, but it has his little insignia on it. The little champion's uh, garb on it, so it's not too bad. Let's go in our house here and put this bad boy away. On our bow. Display that bad boy, yes! Not bad. I'll we'll put our next bow on. And I say, with that said, let's explore, let's try if we can explore the Herber region. There is, actually, no. I wonder if I can pull this off now. I think I can at this point. There is a couple of shrine quests and reach a village that we can pull off. I just hope I don't, I hope I can use the right stuff effectively. It is the choir. The choir at the Whaler's Gale, or the Whaler's, uh, some sort. It's a shrine that we can unlock. Let's see if we can go talk to... Where did you go? Keel, where are you? I can't find Keel anywhere. Could she, where could she be? 
Maybe she went out to Weebler's nest to practice her singing. But that's so far away. Could she have made it all the way over there on her own? I am so worried. Oh, well, let's go find Keel. Keel! Come back! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Fly out this entire lake. It's weird this entire lake has no purpose. And, uh, it's odd to see, it's odd to see this place in snow, of all things. Because, again, Age of Calamity puts this entire region in snow. <laughs> so, it's odd to see it all in grass. But let's go talk with her. Let's talk, let's find Keel first. This quest can be a little tricky. Because, it's a, it's a two-step process. Not only do we have to find Keel, but we also have to find her, uh, brothers and sisters I want to say that this is the case or in case it's her friends I don't think these are the brothers and sisters of this of Keel but I think it's set up differently at Warbler's Nest <laughs> Grr! my sister oh yeah they're sisters my sisters are dumb dummies they promised me rehearse together but nobody showed up we have to perform our song for the elder at Wobbler's Nest. We're going to be left off stage. Oh. Hey you, look like I can use you. As I say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Yeah, what do you got for me? Come on. There we go. There we go. Ah. They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary looking high end like you. Oh, yeah, right. I don't know, Genji might be a tough sell. She's probably in the kitchen yelling. Huh? I want some salmon marinade. Remember that. Remember that recipe. Salmon misery. Or something like that. She doesn't want to sing either. She's such a pain. Yes, and uh, to make it easier on ourselves, we're going to put on our little key item thing we got here. Place to travel with We're gonna be coming back here, so we might as well have an easier way to warp back for now. Again, there is a shrine here which will make that point mute, but until then, we need to have this here. So that we can warp back here at any time, anytime, anywhere. Alright, it's time to find our their brothers and sisters. There'll be one at the shop. There'll be one on the uh, on the rock face here, and there'll be one in the uh, waters. I want to say so. We gotta use the Revolve's Gale. You can usually find them by their music notes. So they are singing. I call that song "Turn Up the Bird Wing Wing Hero First Movement." Thank you for listening. What? Seeing rehearsal at Wobbler's Nest? I, I didn't forget. It's just that Gingy really wants some salmon marinade, so my sisters and I have been looking for ingredients. I finished earlier, so I was practicing here to kill time. <laughs> I feel bad that we left Keel waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. Well then, I'll give you this Tabata wheat for you. Please make the best for for the salmon marinade. It's just you can't sing on an empty stomach, but I'm pretty sure it's just an excuse. <laughs> well, good luck! So remember, it's wheat. I think it's wheat, butter, and salmon that you have to get. So let's take a look at the shop. The shop is where we're going to next. Let's go down to the shop, which is down here, I think. Yes. No, that's the oh, that's the inn. The shop is the next one up. I want to say yes. Which I believe they were adding, getting butter. I think. Yeah, yeah, I bought some goat butter! Huh? Rehearsal? Oh, yeah, I forgot! <laughs> if you give this goat butter, will you make some salad marinade for Guinea? She should be in the kitchen. She said she won't sing until she's eaten. Uh -huh. Our older sister, Knott's, is probably practicing her song somewhere up high. Knott's left to catch some hearty salmon. Uh -huh. She's probably fishing at the pond near the entrance to the village. So we got wheat, butter, and salmon. That's what we need to put in together. Sometimes it's a little awkward. This, uh, because again, sometimes you kind of forget if it's salmon or not, even though it says salmon in the, uh... What the? Oh, it's a rusty halberd. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> well, that frame rate drop. I saw that frame rate drop. Goodness. Now, again, 
Every, we're hoping we're hoping with that new OLE system, the new switch that was announced. Let's hope that there are some performance uh, powers in that. I'm fishing for hearty salmon. Huh? What are you doing here? What rehearsal? Ah! I thought I forgot. I was too focused on catching these fish. Neil's going to kill me. Or she'll pop. You'll probably kneel over her if I'm right. <laughs> Please take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon marinade for Guinea. Hope she'll feel like singing after she's had some. So you have to use a hearty salmon. Hearty salmon, go butter, and tabano wheat. Put that in a cooking bin and uh, see if it'll come out right. Because getting this other guy, this girl, to basically to uh, move on, so we have to cook some food for her. I'm surprised she'd be able to eat the, this entire food. Because what this gets created looks so good, I want to eat some myself. <laughs> I like fish, for the most part. Salmon's actually a pretty good tasting fish. Though I really haven't eaten anything else, other fish types, so I might be needing to uh, increase my palate in some fashion. So we need to use Tabana wheat that we've just got. I think everything is not sorted, so I think everything's here at the end. Yep, here it is. So we put this hold. Don't eat it. <laughs> cool. I think this is all we need to do. Put it in. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> Hearty salmon marinade. That's it. Hurry, hurry! I need salmon marinade in my belly! That's a mini smell. Could it be? Sa salmon marinade? You're gonna have to let me have some, right? Right? Uh, enjoy. No, it's all mine. <laughs> Time to dig in. Wow. Take some drinks of water. Goodness, you ate that thing all in one bite. Goodness me. You have an appetite. But I really do like singing, but I'm too nervous in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for this amazing salmon marinade. It was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give this rehearsal my all. Come listen later. So that should all be now at the Warbler's Nest now. I want to say yes on that. So let's go take a look, shall we? <laughs> Guess our next shrine. We haven't even talked to the mother yet. <laughs> I didn't realize we didn't talk to the mother yet. Ah, oh, we missing the purple? No, we got them all here. Do I have a weapon slot for this? Because we're going to. Yes. Uh. La 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 la. Yeah, I'm saying great thanks to all that rehearsing. So you're gonna give this uh, note sequence here. I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same for everyone. But I do need to. I think we talked to Neil. Oh, thanks so much. All my sisters are here. Let me rehearse here at the Wobbler's Nest. Want to know what song we're singing? Aww. Well, the other told me. It's a song passed down in the Rito Village that was once sung by Wobbler's Nest in ancient times. If you don't know, Wobbler's Nest is the big stone platform with the pillars behind us. The lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. Whatever wind convinces the rocks to sing, open the monk's door will swing. What do you think that means? What's a monk? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I'll give you a little something. Just a small thanks for bringing all my sisters here. She gives you a Korok leaf because this is required to get the uh, rocks to sing. <laughs> Ta-da! A Korok leaf! Why don't you swing in the direction of the Wobbler's Nest? It makes a fun noise! So... La -la -la. Uh, not now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hide behind there. I'm gonna, uh, let's just get this song lyrics down. Yes, why not? Sing the song again. So we got blue... Pink, purplish, green, red, and yellow. So it's blue, purple, green, red, yellow. So we need to find the right things here. If you don't get it right, you will not see a note. So bear that in mind. 
And if you mess up the sequence, you have to reset from back. Nope, that's not it. It's blue, okay. I want to say that was... Five? Yes. So we need to find... Three, which is this one. The color codence is from left to right. One, two, three, four, five. So look, we need... I think one's next, and then it'll be two. Nope, not that way. Oh, I messed up. I spawned it too late. So we need four first. Four... You don't have to be completely ultra precise with this. You just gotta be in the direction of it. So we got three here. And we gotta look for one and two. So we got this one. And two over here. Just like that. And that gives us our next shrine. I think this quest is only available after the Divine Beast is done. I want to say yes. So. But I think even without knowing the... I wonder... I don't know if um, you have to actually complete this quest at all. Unless you actually... If you know the number code or something, I'm pretty sure you can do this without the birds, but I'm not sure if you can or not. Wow! Hey, look, guys! Huh? Wow! Look at that! It's appeared! It's a thing! Uh -huh. Huh? Was that weird looking house always there? Oh. No, that means the shrine thing that the elders were talking about! Oh. So cool! Who knew Waldemar's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Well, it was blatantly obvious with the platform, but I digress. Let's tell Mom! Yeah! Huh? Yeah, let's! <laughs> See you later! See you later, birds. Ah. Last one of the moms is an unhatched egg. Oh, that's kind of dark. <laughs> Raise it, go! Da -da 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 -da. Ow! Sakurai! <laughs> Adding tripping and brawl! <laughs> there's always one that has to... There's always one that has to basically be the problem of the bunch. All right, all right. Well, we're dropping the Korok Leaf. We don't need that anymore. I want my weapon back. <laughs> Give me. Thank you. Flame Blade to the rescue. To the Vulota Shrine. Let's uh, do this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. Sweet. Let's go see what this place has in store for us. What do we got here? What do we got here? A ladder. Okay, I thought it was something more. The winding route. <laughs> The winding woot. Is it winding or winding? You be the judge. But guess how long that stair... Look at that. Man, you thought the, the N64 stairs were long. Link has to go up against a ladder, not stairs. And it's so long, too. The endless... The, the endless ladder. <laughs> the endless ladder. Here we go. Here we go to save the day. Up the ladder. Oh, that doesn't seem that big. No, is it? Hmm. Something tells me that this is a little off. Yes, it is. Oh, goodness. Wow. Didn't think there would be a lava underneath this thing. Goodness me. Woo. All right, yep. The winding path. Yep, we have to use the wind. And hopefully not be misguided. And, uh, la -la. So yeah, I've got another lava-filled platform. The floor is lava. And we have to use the wind to our advantage here. Drop down like this. This is a pretty straightforward shrine, though, to be honest. There's really no other branching paths. Small key. That's what we need. 
But you also know there's always an optional chest somewhere nearby. Let's see, what is... That's not where we want to be. We want to be... Right here. Activate this chest. What we got? A flame blade. Ugh. Well, that's actually durability up, which is actually better than the blade we've got now. Blade... Oh, that's got critical hit, though. Eh. Drop it. Drop critical hit for more chances to use it. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, the flame blade has now dissolved itself inside the, inside the lava. Pretty, uh, pretty uneventful end for the sword itself, but still. Fly me to victory! Huzzah! And that's the shrine in a nutshell. Woo! Examine! Booyah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We could go to the retail village now. And since we have to go back to tell the mother that that Kiel is back and safe and sound, we can get a reward for that quest and get ourselves a couple more heart containers. I'd say that's a pretty good trade-off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yay! Who needs to fly? I got teleportation powers. <laughs> teleportation, yeah! The Hyrule Compendium! The thing you're gonna spend money on because you don't can't be bothered! <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone has done it at least legitimately once. But I think that after doing it once, you just go and buy it. Oh. She disappears at night. Well, I think it's no better to use uh, a stove, I think, to get ourselves back in the daytime. Well, there's a, uh, there's a, well, there's a bed, but there's an inn we could use. Yeah, we have to come back here in the day if we're going to get that quest to be done. So, let's, uh, use this stove pot. Oh, it's right here. Oh, she's right here. Yeah. Thank you for finding Kiel. I'm glad she was just at more business as I thought. Mm. She thinks she can do whatever she wants because Medado has been appeased. But at least she's got to practice singing with her sisters. It's only a small token of my gratitude, but please take this. Fifty rupees? Hey, I'll take money. <coughs> well, I should get cooking. Neil was one of the five daughters, which means five mouths to feed. Dinner won't make itself. Sweet! Let's go into morning. Sit told morning, please! Might as well use it for free. We don't need the end for any reason. Because I want to talk to a quest giver that's up here. I believe she's up here. Is she up here? No, she's not. I wonder where that bird went. Okay, maybe it's the noon, because I know I saw a Rito up here, a little Rito girl that tells you of a, of a shrine that you can get. Granted, I know where the shrine is, but I'd rather see the quest giver at hand. Wait till noon. We'll get to that quest. I think it's now up here. Midday should be here any moment. Yep, I think. Yes, there she is. What, do you want me to tell you a story? I love stories! Awesome! Me too! Ahem! Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest, when suddenly he saw a huge snow-white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow-white birdie. And he, as he got a little closer to the white birdie, Grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. Wow. The birdie had swallowed... Wait, well, what is it? Mm. I always get sleepy around the part of that story, so I don't remember. Oh, what? Oh, what a block. <laughs> oh, I know, the, I know where the big tree is, though. It's over there. Don't you see it? 
Grandma said we saw a snow white birdie from that tree. All the way up there. Uh -huh. Hmm, well, how would I know a snow white birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Because Grandpa is dead. That's a sad tale to start <laughs> in the mountains here. Uh, let's see. We could go. I need to have the mount. I need to have them mapped out. So let's go over to Cuckoo and follow the bridge. Follow the trail. Cause we need to get into the bridge. So let's go wait that way. Ba -ba -da -ba. Because now, thanks to finding her keel and helping her sisters out, it's time to basically to find ourselves in the Herba region, the coldest region in Hyrule. Yeah, this place is colder than Mount Lernerio. You would think that wouldn't be the case, but, you know, the mountains are here higher than the, than the Mount Lebrenna. Or, not Brenna. Lernerio. Cuckoo! It's time to, put the, time to put the scare on these enemies here from finally at long last! Ha 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 ha! This is where you're actually going to be finding mooses now, which is pretty nice. Oh, I don't know. What, what the was that? Looks like someone just flew, like, completely out nonchalant. Also, some foxes are here, too. Yes. Let's see. I think this is the road. This is the road, isn't it not? It's not the road. I swear it was a road here. Oh, no. The road follows where that, uh, Keaton guy was. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Cuckoo. No scaring. You're not supposed to be scared. It's weird that this not, is not shown as a, as a road, even though it clearly it is. If time will allow it, we'll probably get that tower before we break off the video at that point. So let's see if we can get over there. Did I just drop down too far? Yes, I did. Cuckoo, you went the wrong direction. Let's see. Again, I don't have... Oh, goodness. The moose was angry. Well, I'm not going to let that moose ruin my day. Oh, wait, no. Let me see. The road is down that way. Why did I come over here, though? <laughs> That's actually an important question. <laughs> Did I just waste my time? Well, probably most likely. Alright, Cuckoo. I need you to make a huge jump. Let's go over this way. We'll get to that tower next. And now break a video of that part. At that point. Let's get over there. And then we can finally explore the Herba region and get that quest done. For that little for that little girl. We gotta help her out! Yeah. We're the elf, ever helpful hero, don't you know? But the Herba region is very, very cold, as well as has a lot of placements where uh, Lionels are placement. You wouldn't think Lionels would be, uh, wouldn't be in the Herba region, but you are could be wrong, and I was wrong too. There's like, I think, two or three Lionels you can find in the uh, snowfield in the Herba region. But those are like... <laughs> All the, at this point now, they're all going to be white ones now. Oh, goodness, rocks! <laughs> Make it there or not. Let's see. Uh, boy. Might be a little bit lightly longer video pot, probably. Probably 32, 33 minutes. Probably so, but still. Is that a bomble rock? No, it's not. It looks bomble, but it's not. Let's get over here. We should be able to see this tower pretty soon. Alright, let's uh... Mark that. This place is going to be guarded by ice. But thanks to Revali's Gale, we can now get to this tower without with no problem. As well as climbing up the tower with little ease now with Revali's Gale. Woo -ah! The Tapana Village Ruins. Another place. Oh, there's a Korok seed. Oh, of course. There's always a Korok seed here. Might as well grab him. <laughs> you found me! Korok seed get. Thank you. Oh, you're gonna be that jerk, huh? Booyah! What hit me? 
Oh, an arrow. An right. arrow hit me. Come on, why don't you die? Take care of you. Booyah. Alright, it's time to hit a hard hitter. Booyah! Ow! You curse you! How about I hit a bit of flame on you? Yeah, I got rid of that shield for you. And that can happen too. Hitting the uh, elemental choo choo jellies, which is the first time seeing the ice variant. If you hit the fire one, it ignites and inflames. Hit electricity, and it also shocks you. So use that to your advantage too if you want to use that. You are annoying. Die already. <laughs> Alright, let's get to this tower. This tower is long. <laughs> this little, this, again, this is like one of the last towers we have to use. Alongside uh, the last two areas, I want to say. No, actually three. I think we only need three. I think it's only three left. This one and two others, I want to say. If not, then I'm wrong. Get up to this tower! Bum, 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 bum. But again, it's all covered in ice. So, yeah. If you want to get access to this thing without Lord Volley's Gale... You're going to have to at least somehow get up high enough to jump into it or just melt it with fire arrows or just have a fire sword equipped. So we have our body scale. We can fly high and basically halfway across the tower at this point. Yep. Yep. Climbing these towers are now a thing of the past. We can now fly up there if we so choose, but I'm going to make ourselves easier to get up here. Let's slap this bad boy on. Thank you. Goodness. Tower get. And now the whole Herber region is now for us to explore. <laughs> Booyah. But again, 18 shrines in this location alone. Not the best of the bunch. All right, what do we got here? One of the biggest regions of the game, most likely. Oof. Let's go explore it. <laughs> Let's be off. Huzzah!